Yeah, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to our uh, monthly series, uh, wherein uh, we give outlook for the coming uh, month. Uh, for the February month, uh, uh, in this report, we will be covering a uh, few stocks from fundamental side and uh, outlook on uh, uh, fundamental side. Then there will be uh, there will be technical outlook and uh, then we'll be recommending stocks on technical background and then there will be a derivative outlook and uh, the stocks on derivative basis so first to come up with uh, outlook on fundamental basis uh, what we had seen in last three months that uh, the market has seen continuously volatility of over thousand and uh, 1500 points uh, in nifty and in last three months, uh, uh, these up and down has uh, happened because of a uh, few regions. Uh, like uh, we had seen that the commodity prices continue to move up. Then Fed has started uh, tightening the liquidity and uh, there were some weakness in the corporate results uh, in recent past. So these were the negative side, but on the other hand, uh, the positive sides were that a uh, few of the sectors has also started performing like banking and all and uh, IT continue to perform. Apart from that, uh, uh, the domestic liquidity continue to remain strong and that continuously supported at lower level. And because of this, uh, we saw Indian market uh, is consistently outperforming the international market. Even the uh, uh, Indian market in recent past has outperformed the even uh, uh, US market, which was consistently outperforming all other market in last uh, one and a half, two year. Though we saw corrections in the most uh, international equity market, including India in recent past, uh, but if we see the commodity prices uh, in this period uh, continue to remain high. Uh, and uh, in fact, in last one month, we had seen uh, even uh, increase in, uh, sorry, increase in commodity prices uh, like uh, if you see the crude oil in last month has increased by 13 percent natural gas by nine percent aluminum by nine percent iron ore by 17 percent steel by five percent and coal by 27 percent so the key thing is that uh, though equity has corrected but uh, the commodity prices has moved up so the key problem which is uh, been faced by the economy is that uh, the uh, commodities prices are uh, keeping the cost high or impacting the margins of the company or uh, creating inflationary environment and uh, forcing central banks to tighten the liquidity continue to remain there. So there is no ease off in that particular point, uh, uh, which is a bit concerning. Like uh, whenever we had seen fall in the international market, uh, we see uh, mostly equity is accompanied by commodity. But this time, uh, both the things are moving in different directions and uh, uh, in fact, creating more problem uh, for the overall economy. So that is a bit concerning. So uh, if these prices continue to remain high and uh, along with uh, liquidity tightening, uh, it will start impacting demand and then economic growth as well. So uh, the key concerns what we feel right now is uh, the high commodity prices, uh, which should be start softening for market to remain healthy. Otherwise, uh, we had seen that uh, some impact of uh, high commodity prices on the demand side in last uh, Q2 results and uh, even in Q3 results and uh, if these prices continue to remain high or increase then can further have impact on other sectors as well. So if you see apart from that uh, Q3 result which has come up till now uh, the uh, results are not so encouraging. If you see the ratio between uh, uh, above expectation and below expectation results is at around 52 to 48 in favor of uh, below expectations. So <clears throat> that too in the first half of the result season. So generally we see that uh, quality company announces the results in the initial period uh, of the result seasons. And in that also we are seeing uh, the ratio is not in favor of the above expectation. Generally what we see in a normal uh, quarter, what we, we were seeing in uh, Q1 or last Q4 and all, 
the expected result were over 70%, 75% and all. And which has come down to even less than 50% now. <laughs> so the first sign of weakness was seen in uh, Q2 results and that is now continuing even in Q3 also. We feel this, uh, this, we feel this again, the key concern is uh, uh, the commodity prices uh, will, which continue to remain high. And that has started impacting demand and margin in corporate results as well. And that is visible in corporate result as well. So uh, what will happen because of this, we will start seeing some downgrades of earning estimates in the coming period. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, apart from this, uh, the near term event is uh, of budget and uh, I, we feel that uh, government has an opportunity to push demand, uh, which is the key concern right now uh, in the Indian market for various sectors and that too specifically for uh, the bottom of pyramid of the people. So the demand should start uh, uh, improving and government can use this budget to push the demand in this, env this environment. So if suppose uh, in the budget, uh, the government come up with some good measures uh, which help it to improve the demand that too at the bottom of the pyramid people or low end of the peoples, then that will be considered a bit positive for the overall budget, budget aspects. Another agenda which uh, government is considering or may be considering in this is the continuing of spending in the infrastructure sector, which was there in the last budget also. So quite possible this can continue in this quarter, this budget itself. So that can support the budget. But apart from that, uh, one should keep uh, one should also keep a few uh, concerning point also that there is an election uh, in various states, uh, almost five states is there, and that too having a one large state like UP. So government can come up with some populist measure in this budget, and which can have a negative impact on the equity market also. And apart from that, uh, in uh, the overall fiscal deficit, which was announced uh, last year, was around 6.8. The expectation is that uh, the government will be reducing the fiscal deficit to somewhere around 5.9 or 5.7. And uh, that will restrict the money which is available to the, uh, available to the government to be deployed for all these uh, measures. So where the uh, excess money is getting utilized is the key concern area to be watched in the budget. So this budget uh, uh, can create uh, volatility again uh, in the near term and uh, can have uh, both upside and downside impact on the overall market. So one should remain watchful of that. But overall, overall what we feel that uh, uh, we continue to remain cautious on the market and uh, uh, the high liquidity which is there in the equity in the domestic market can continue to support the market at the lower level and which can create uh, volatility in the market. So overall what we feel that uh, we expect Nifty to remain in a range of around 16,500 to 17,500 in uh, during the February series. So that is from my side on uh, fundamental. Now I'll request uh, uh, Jehan to take up from here for uh, its fundamental stock. Good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. So first stock uh, is uh, <coughs> Home First Finance. Uh, it's a housing finance company which got listed in uh, February last year. So almost one year back. Uh, it uh, was founded in 2010 uh, uh, and uh, Currently, it has uh, 76 branches uh, with presence mainly in uh, Gujarat and Maharashtra. And now it is diversifying outside also. Uh, uh, third area where it has uh, more uh, presence is uh, on the southern side where they are focusing on the southern uh, metro markets, uh, outskirts of metro markets as well. Uh, uh, in Gujarat, uh, we have already seen historically grow finance uh, had been operating. Uh, this company also started off with Gujarat and currently it has, uh, in within Gujarat, it has around 5% market share. Uh, now, what is the competitive edge? Uh, you all would have already been aware uh, with uh, companies like Grah and uh, Avas been trading in the markets that uh, these kind of uh, affordable housing companies have a very small ticket size, which is the reason they face lesser competition from companies like 
uh, big larger NBFCs and even banks. So, for example, ticket size of uh, Home First is at 10 lakhs uh, compared to let's say 20, 21 lakhs for Canfin and uh, almost 33, 34 lakhs for HDFC Limited. And uh, similarly, banks are also much higher than 30 lakhs uh, ticket size. So this is the primary reason uh, which differentiates uh, these smaller affordable housing companies. Uh, also, if we dissect the loan book, 74% uh, uh, comes from the salaried segment uh, and 26% uh, comes from self-employed. Uh, competition naturally, again, uh, is much lesser in the self-employed side uh, because of lack of uh, documented uh, you know, uh, uh, data for salary, etc. Uh, uh, and uh, within the salaried side uh, segment also, uh, out of the 74%, uh, 24% uh, comes from uh, informal, uh, uh, informal, uh, uh, unorganized side, where the uh, salary is received in cash form. So again, banks and uh, larger NBFCs do not consider uh, cash salary as a uh, uh, proof of uh, income. And uh, so uh, uh, almost 50% uh, in 50% of the AUM, uh, the company does not face any severe competition from uh, banks and NBFC. Uh, uh, another uh, uh, USP, USP for uh, uh, Home First is that uh, it is sticking to the core home loan business only. We have seen uh, some uh, uh, housing finance companies like PNB, Housing Finance, LIC, and even Repco that they have ventured outside of uh, home loans more into LAP and more so into developer loans where they got stuck in last uh, three, four years, and we are seeing a very high gross NPS in companies like these. So uh, Home First in that aspect is uh, very clear. It wants to stick to uh, home loans, if at all increase uh, some bit of lap, but uh, it is staying away from developer loans. And uh, throughout COVID period, if we see the asset quality performance uh, has been uh, 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 very good. Uh, on uh, uh, the, the days past due, the overdue buckets, uh, if we see it is as good as what Avas's performance is and much better than the other uh, listed uh, player, Aptus uh, Home Finance. Um, uh, it, the company has demonstrated one of the highest uh, loan growth uh, in last uh, four or five years. Uh, it has grown at 49% CAGR, one of the highest in the listed companies. Uh, and uh, even today, the loan book remains at 5,000 crores, uh, leaving a long uh, runway for growth in future as well. Uh, in comparison, Avasi's loan book is at uh, 10, 10,500 crores. Canfin, uh, which declared results recently, uh, crossed uh, 24,000 crores. And it is still uh, at that kind of base also, Canfin is growing at 20%. So we feel uh, Home First has a long runway for growth, for high growth. Uh, we are expecting loan growth of... Uh, over 30% in next uh, two, three years. And uh, uh, if we look at the, uh, on the valuation side, uh, with a similar asset quality like ours and uh, loan growth higher than ours, we are seeing that Home First is available at a 35% discount to ours financiers. So we feel this discount should, uh, this gap should close to uh, at least 20% in the near term and going forward, depending on performance, it can close down further also. So from a one year perspective, we have a target of 1100 rupees on home first uh, and we suggest to buy the stock. Uh, that's it from my side. Uh, I will now uh, invite uh, Runjun to take it forward. Thank you, Jihan. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so the stock we are covering today is uh, Supriya Life Science. This uh, This is an API company. Uh, and they have very niche products. So they have total portfolio of only 38 products. And out of that also top five products uh, accounts for almost 50% of their revenues. And some products may go India's ke largest exporter here. Just say uh, ketamine, helicoride and other products may, they actually hold around 60 to 65% of API exports from India. Uh, the reason for the company to do well and why we like the company is because it is backward integrated. So the main products hai company, ke, like 12 of the existing products are fully backward integrated. So they actually uh, have the full value chain covered when, com uh, when comes to these 12 products and which accounts around 67% of the total revenue or FI21. So this what this how this helps is that margins increase karne ke liye company ko help karte hai. plus uh, because we have seen in the past ki china se issues kafi hue in terms of supply 
whether in terms of container availability and all that. So that depend that reduces the dependence on such outside suppliers, and this also increase. Uh, enables a steady supply of intermediates at a uh, equitable cost and in, avoid any market fluctuation so because of all things this is a really a backward integrated uh, point is really works favor in favor of the company and we have seen this in working well in other companies also and that is why the companies go try to go as back as they can uh, in terms of uh, the backward integration the other point is uh, Though they have around seventy-seven or eighty percent exports, uh, the sh share from regulated markets is actually increasing. So, uh, out of the seventy-seven percent in FI twenty-one exports, uh, in FI twenty-one, the sh share from the regulated market is thirty-eight percent of overall revenues, which was in FI twenty-one, which has already increased to forty-seven in nine months. Uh, FI twenty-two. So regulated market gives you higher realizations. That is why we have seen that the companies uh, supplying main to regulated markets are having higher margins. अभी हम लोगों ने देखा कि they are backward integrated. Uh, growth is increasing from regulated markets to so substantiate that they are also expanding their manufacturing base. And to because they are uh, launching new products, they have a very healthy pipeline product pipeline so in sab ke liye they are actually uh, expanding their manufacturing base also uh, with this now we have and the companies manufacturing sites are all us fda and european and all chinese regulation approved so this shows the quality of the manufacturing and now with this higher manufacturing base strong research the company is getting into cramps we have seen that the Uh, companies get really good margins in crams with uh, high atrs that is asset turnovers so that is what the company is also achieving so they are just starting with that and now have four products in pipeline so but the revenue would start coming from anywhere from next year because it takes one year at least uh, to start the process and uh, next 3 4 years may we expect ki kuch meaningful revenues would start coming from crams so this would another uh, margin creative uh, opportunity for the company iske q3 ke results aa chuke hain but what we have seen is q3 ke results ke baad stock kafi correct hue because q3 results were not good for that the company has explained that seasonally they have q uh, 2 and uh, q4 as strong quarters usme bhi q4 is the best quarter in the history of the company and q3 seasonally thoda uh, weak hota hai uh, over or above that what they have seen in q3 that some of the orders have actually deferred uh, the uh, the supply has deferred for q4 so that has was uh, an additional impact iski wajah se q3 mein margins have also come down however for the full year the company the management is very confident of achieving 40% ebitda margins with 18 to 20% revenue growth Uh, when we are trying to compare this with the other listed companies like dbs loris uh, and other companies what we are seeing that it has the margin is one of the best uh, it, in line with the dbs however in terms of valuation it is still chipping half almost to dbs dbs is currently trading around 53 times where supriya is trading 30 times on fi 21 numbers so we believe this kind of a growth and revenue we expect that company would get higher multiple and that is why we are very positive on this and uh, recommending this uh, from a medium to long term point of view though we would see uh, near term uh, upside also with the q4 results being strong but this is a good stock to hold for portfolio in api space thank you yeah technical team can take up from here uh good morning all of you uh, see uh, in uh, january month uh, we see the volatility in market and uh, Uh, we see the market in trading in both side uh, 
uh, first uh, we uh, see the uh, strong support zone for index is 16700 to 840 at downside that is nine month nine month uh, uh, important support for nine months uh, important support for a uh, weekly chart and we see some uh, momentum towards uh, 17317 upside so we see uh, the um, uh, moral uh, range in market is uh, 17,317 in upside and uh, 16,800 and 840 at downside. So we expect uh, market remain in this range only in uh, Feb series. Uh, Nifty also uh, trading near the important uh, support zone and uh, trading uh, that important support zone is uh, 17,100 and 17,000 uh, 17, in level. So we expect in the first week of Feb, we expect uh, uh, even uh, during budget session, we see the volatility in market. So we expect a volatile trade in first week. If Nifty sustain uh, first week uh, 16,800, then we uh, see the market in uh, trade towards 17,300 and above level. If Nifty break that level first week, then we see the some pressure towards uh, 16,400 at downside. And we believe that uh, Nifty is bottom out at that level. So we see the uh, FAP series in uh, both sides in up uh, 17,300 and uh, downside uh, 16,700. Uh, next, uh, Swati will take for stock. Hello, Swati. Hello, can Hello. you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, so I'm so sorry because of the network issue. Some problem has happened. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you Vikas for uh, taking the Nifty view and I would like to continue with the stocks now. This month, we have two stocks. First will be on SRF buy call and second will be on NTPC buy call. Both buy call are for this month. Technically, if you look at the SRF chart, which I have flashed the right side, flash kiya hai, we see that this particular stock is spreading above all the important moving averages, say 50, 100 and 200 TMA. Even though the market was correcting, this, this particular counter was well placed above all the important moving averages. Which gives a very strong indication that this rally continued to be on the upper side. Hamesha humne dekha hai ki ye particular stocks average tak aata hai correct karke, then it takes a support and it bounces back towards to the new higher levels. Uh, again, uh, technically, baat kare to high tops or high bottom formations may chal rahe and upward rising channel may be chal rahe. If you look towards the two parallel lines, which I have blue line mein indicate kiya hai, which indicate karta hai ki ye particular counter upward rising channel may trade kar rahe, which signifies the strength of this particular counter. Currently, this counter is trading at 2400 levels. I believe that there is potential hai upside in 2870, 2900 levels in the coming month. So I will suggest to take a buy call at current market price. If there is any deep deep in this particular counter, like 2270, you can definitely add on for a target of 2870 with a stop loss of 2170. So this is a buy call for my second buy call will be on NTPC. NTPC, no wonder it's a slow moving counter, but definitely it's uh, worthwhile hai, filal to portfolio mein rakhne ke liye. because if I have a monthly chart display kiya hai report, in the monthly chart mein inverse head and shoulder formation, hai, which is a very strong formation on the monthly chart. It's a very high degree pe ye formation. Bana hai. So it's on the verge of giving the breakout of a neckline. Neckline which comes straight around 140 to 143 levels. So, this chart is a strong formation bana hai and uh, we break out the potential. I think that probably if the market next week will be good and market will be support, then the counter will be a good rally on the higher side. Interesting fact is that this counter is well placed, which we have important moving averages. High tops, higher bottom formation. Mein chal so, to be basic hum log parameters like RSI, bolo, averages, bolo, channel, bolo, trend lines, all of 
क्राइटेरिया ये पर्टिकुलर काउंटर फुलफिल कर रहा है विच गिव अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इंडिकेशन ऑफ अ बुलिस कैन एट बट यू कैन से बट द ओनली थिंग कि अभी तक इसने ब्रेकआउट नहीं दिया है सो इट विल बी अ कंडीशनल बाईफॉल फ्रॉम आर साइड करंटली द स्टॉक इज ट्रेडिंग एट वन फोर्टी लेवल आई बिलीव डेट वन टू टेक अ बाईफॉल अबाउ वन फोर्टी टू वन सिक्स इफ मैनेजेस टू गिव अ ब्रेकआउट ऑफ वन फोर्टी टू लेवल देन यू कैन इनिशिएट अ बाईफॉल If any dips comes at around 134, 135 levels, you can add on. मैं यही कहना चाहूँगी कि ये market में 100% आपका जो भी fund है एक stock में ना डालिएगा at the same rate. अभी फिलहाल आप 30, 40% definitely invest कर सकते हो. If you're getting any dips towards 134 level, you can add on so that your market price, your buying price will come down. I'm looking for a target of 165 to 175 levels in the coming month. So I believe once you take a buy call above one forty two level, target I'm quoting for this month is one sixty five. I believe one twenty eight level will act as a very strong support level. So place the stop loss of one twenty eight and take a buy call above one forty two. I think that's it from my end. I request that we two guys take a call for us. Yeah, thank you, Swati. Uh, see uh, first of all i'd like to say uh, that we have consistently gone right uh, you know in the uh, times how we read our data and uh, hopefully it helped uh, you know in the last month we had clearly said during the monthly that the market is likely to reverse it was around the 17000 levels it went to 18300 and when we thought that yeah 18300 the data has become negative we again said that uh, you know uh, there is going to be a reversal which uh, nifty can see some downside and that is what exactly uh, uh, happened so we've consistently gone right uh, the, we've given calls for the same as well um so now uh, now looking uh, through the january data uh, see uh, uh, the january data the rollovers have been average uh, to say the least uh, most importantly uh, you know the problem is the budget is coming in so not many positions are made uh, neither in uh, the futures or nor in the option space so when you have a look at the option space as well uh, you know where the month starts with about 40 50 lakh shares in the important strikes of uh, uh, you know 17000 17500 17, or 18000 strikes uh you're not seeing even 25 lakh shares there or probably 30 lakh shares in all strikes combined so uh, people at this point of time don't want to take positions they are neither hedging not taking ma many positions that is one thing uh, from the option space from the future space the rollovers have been lower than average uh, in terms of percentage but they have been average in terms of open interest so uh, on an average in the last 6 months about 1 crore shares uh, have been rolled over and even this time you know about 1 crore shares have been rolled over so uh, not much change in terms of nifty uh, open interest bank nifty yes definitely there is a little bit of higher open interest and higher rollovers because banks have been positive even though nifty has been falling so banking as a whole has seen good uh, uh, rollovers uh, but this is in the private space the psu space uh, uh, the open inter the short positions have been covered which is very very good sign for the banking uh, space as a whole for this particular month um now market wide rollovers have been uh, average uh, you know they were likely to be lower because we've seen last 15 days market has fallen so uh, we did expect some uh, lower than uh, average uh, rollovers but in terms of open interest they've been on an average uh, so see uh, in this series uh, everything uh, that is coming out from the series is uh, you know pointing towards a range range bound trade so there will be a budget on tuesday announcement and uh, in the after the announcement for a couple of days we expect a 500 600 point move but after that uh, we expect nifty to be largely uh, uh, range bound and in between uh, a specified range for most part of the february series don't see much upside or downside coming in so whenever this data changes we will always say but at this point of time the data is pointing towards range bound trade for february Uh, uh the pcr again uh, you know as i said the pcr actually uh 
lot of people aren't taking positions so uh, it is uh, very very flat just near the one levels it has opened near the one levels and likely to stay here for a couple of uh, trading sessions uh, until the budget announcement and then probably you know you'll see a uh, pick up of open interest built up in the option space uh, in the option strikes of nifty so at this point of time there is no indication the vix we expect uh, the vix to remain high uh yes uh, after budget announcement some sort of uh, uh, you know cool off can come in and wix can remain uh, uh, in between uh, 18 and 25 levels because up election is coming again so uh, you know it will start to factor in that as well and uh, again go up so uh, i don't think much of a cool off will come in overall so uh, from 21 20 odd levels can come to 17 or 18 odd levels on the downside <laughs> so high vix would mean uh, you know uh, the rallies or uh, you know like yesterday trading session that you saw you know when nifty was about 250 300 points up and uh, you know it paid all the gains you know you can expect such uh, kind of moves when vix is high so uh, for the most part of february series that is how it is going to be where probably you know uh, after a big day of gap down or gap up nifty will end at uh, uh, you know Uh, the close uh, near about zero point five percent only. Uh, so majorly, you know, just as I've been saying, uh, index is likely to witness range bound action, and for this series, uh, you know, we believe seventeen thousand sixteen five hundred is a very good support area. On the downside, it should not be breached. Uh, at least a good base formation should be made around the sixteen five hundred, the sixteen six hundred levels, and you will see again buying coming in, uh, and this buying can fizzle out around seventeen five hundred, seventeen eight hundred, eighteen thousand levels. I don't see uh, much of an upside as well, so it should be largely range bound. Uh, now, even in a range bound uh, uh, trading uh, session, there are some stocks uh, which will perform. and out of those you know i have tried to uh, get out some stocks which i believe uh, can really perform very well and out of them coal india if you see it has largely remained uh, uh, you know sideways but open interest has consistently decreased and in for this particular series a lot of open interest has been shed by this stock that means shorters are out of the system and at a point when nifty is near the support area and the shorters are out of the system very likely you know you will see this stock uh, uh, move up and probably you know uh, some sort of budget announcement can come in which can take this stock uh, uh, up as well second stock is bharti airtel now uh, bharti airtel there was a time uh, when the open interest used to be very high so it used to have about 10 crores of open interest but that has come down to 5 crores so there is a 50% reduction in the last 6 months and deliveries have gone up so this stock even though it has not moved up or moved down uh, a lot in the last 3 4 5 months this stock is the one stock where i believe can be the stock for this particular month where it can really shoot up uh, it already had an announcement coming in so you've seen movement uh, in the last trading session but i believe this stock can uh, uh, pretty much go up uh, uh, you know up to 800 850 odd levels uh, uh, going forward so this is one stock to buy uh, thirdly uh, sbi as i said the psu stocks have witnessed uh, short covering so lot of shorters are out of the system they are low on open interest so when a stock is low on open interest generally you know uh, not many people are holding the stock so if selling comes that follow up selling doesn't come in which helps the stock uh, gain momentum on the upside and then long that form so there is a double momentum which comes in and uh, you see the stock really moving up so uh, this is one stock uh, to buy as well and from the metal space as well so there is a theme that has uh, gone in uh, into this particular series where PSU banks uh, have witnessed a uh, low open interest. Metals as a whole has seen shorters getting out of the system. Even though some selling came in the uh, on Friday, I believe metals, if not in the next two three days, but in the whole series, should witness good buying because there are not much shorters in the system now for metals. So very likely it is going to move up. And uh, pharma as well, it is ready to move up, but. 
in the last three months, the open interest remains light for pharma. It is just not being able to move up. So we continue to hold our stance that pharma should move up very well uh, in probably in the next few days. But uh, out of that, uh, Glenmark and uh, uh, Sun Pharma are two stocks which look very good because they are not much shorter in the system for this particular stocks. Now coming to stocks which can probably witness good amount of selling. First and foremost, IT sector as a whole. A lot of stocks from the IT sector, HCL Tech, Infosys Tech, Mahindra, uh, TCS, these stocks have witnessed a lot of open interest built up. And you know it has built up to such a point where not much open interest can be built up after you know this point. So they are likely to witness more selling pressure. So we, we had already mentioned in the last series as well that IT should witness selling. They all witness about 10, 15, 20% of selling. And we continue to hold this stance because we believe IT is likely to move down further. So please do not buy IT at this point of time, even though some uh, you know buying or uh, support buying can come in, but overall you will see some uh, you know more selling pressure in these stocks in, in this coming time. So HCL Tech, Voltas, HDFC Limited, these stocks are very high on open interest. They can, even Tata Power, it can probably witness a good amount of selling pressure. So when selling comes into the market, these are the stocks to sell uh, at first. So please make a, a note of this. SBI Life, uh, the problem is it is not very high on open interest, but longs are, have liquidated in the last month, then, which is not a very good sign because then shorters can come in into the system. So this is one stock where, uh, you know, which was moving against the trend where HDFC Life or ICICI Pro was going down. SBI Life was standing still and uh, moving up, but now uh, long positions are out of the system or um, most of them are out of the system. So uh, very likely, you know, some sort of selling pressure can come into this stock. Now uh, uh, we've come in with a strategy for Nifty. Uh, now uh, next week is the budget. See, it is very important uh, to understand your own in budget uh, movement is going to be high. And because of this movement, um, the premium is uh, very high in index options. So what we've tried to do is we've taken a weekly expiry next, uh, of 10th February, which is next to next week. So uh, Nifty around the 17, uh, 300 call and put one can buy. Uh, the total premium comes to around 625 points. We believe that uh, overall, at least a 400, 500 point move after the budget announcement can come in into the Nifty before, uh, you know, again, getting into the range bound action. So uh, once this 400, 500 point move comes in, uh, the strategy can gain uh, about 300, 400 points uh, in total. And uh, that is where you uh, book profit. So whichever direction uh, Nifty goes, uh, this is a directional less strategy, long straddle. Uh, that is the beauty of long straddle, where whichever direction uh, uh, you know you get the movement, you you gain profit. So uh, it is uh, slightly medium risk because of budget. It is medium risk, uh, but straddles generally are low risk strategies. Um, now uh, th this strategy will start to gain profit uh, below 16800 odd level or, or above the 17800 odd level. So uh, 400 500 point move should do it. Um, now getting into the next strategy. Uh, Bharti Airtel, uh, we have given a strategy, bull call spread seed. As I said, it is going to be, it is likely to be a stock for the month. Um, Bharti has seen low open interest. So light on open interest is very, very good for this particular stock. Um, it has a strong resistance around 760 uh, uh, level. So we have sold a 760 call at 15 and uh, we bought the 720 call at 28. So uh, largely you're paying only 13 points of uh, premium where uh, your uh, gain can actually be double of that. So 27 points is what max gain you can get. And uh, with 950 lot size, it can be a sizable amount of gain uh, for this particular series. So one can do this strategy looks like low risk and uh, downside is very minimal. Uh, this stock has made a very good base around the 700 odd level. So uh, even on the downside, you stand to lose only about uh, uh, 13 odd points. But uh, you can keep a stop loss of about nine points max loss from here. So that, uh, you know, 
uh, 9500 9, is the max loss that you can particularly make in this particular strategy uh, looks like low risk so please do the strategy as well um, that's it from my side i like to as a fundamental team to take over yeah uh, we came up with a strategy on tcs for buyback so akansha will ex will explain that Uh, so sh should I? Sh okay. Yeah, just a second. Yes, sir. Upload. Yes. Yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so we would li also like to share our view and strategy on TCS buyback. So you can come to the uh, next slide. Uh, the company has approved buyback of rupees 18,000 crore at a price of rupees 4,500 per share. The record date is not yet announced. However, as per the previous buyback data, minimum number of days between the announcement uh, date and the buyback completion is around 9,200 days. So looking at this, we feel buyback completion is likely to happen in uh, April. Now to participate in the buyback as a retail a shareholder one has to hold shares worth rupees 2 lakh or below this so uh so you we can come to the next slide yeah yeah okay so even if someone buys the share at the current market price of rupees 3690 and opts for buyback uh, assuming the buyback ratio to be 50 percent even and even when the remaining shares after buyback at, are sold at the bought price one would be able to make a gain of around uh, 11%. However, looking at TCS, where in nine month FY22 TCV stood at around 23.3 billion, uh, that is up 4.5%. And even on the people front, the company has uh, added around 68,000 employees in nine month FY22, wherein the company is standing at an uh, all time high employee base, which gives confidence about the uh, good demand pipeline going ahead. So looking at TCS being confident with the multi-year growth opportunity accompanied with buyback opportunity, we feel TCS is available at an attractive valuation at a PE of 31 times FY23 EPS. We feel one can look at buying the share with a target of rupees 4169. So even if so one can buy the share at current market price, opt for buyback and hold the remaining shares for further gains also. Thank you. So that was the strategy for uh, uh, for uh, TCS, wherein you can do uh, you can buy this stock if suppose fifty percent goes, you will get the share balance shares at somewhere around uh, thirty one hundred. So very good uh, uh, possibility of getting TCS in a portfolio at lower price. <clears throat> now Rick, uh, we'll go to uh, your questions we can take up your questions whoever has a questions can put up your questions in chat box or q a sections uh, the analyst will take up the questions accordingly so Sir, uh, i take the three four yeah, questions yeah, of can, my sector you can start should i go ahead yeah go ahead yeah runjun yeah sir there are three four questions of my good so, sector can i go ahead yeah you can go ahead okay. you're not able to listen us hear us oh, no, i i think i lost the audio in between for a okay, second okay. yeah you can okay. go ahead now okay so somebody asked about the supriya that on the result day numbers nose dive it is still to uh still good so that was we were trying to explain sir that your q3 ke numbers i think wo expectations yeah i think margins 40 percent ke up because abhi tak kaam logo ne in the IPO, we saw that the numbers are 43%. So, the normal perception of the street is that it is 40%. But in this quarter, the numbers were less than that. And the result of sales growth was less than that. So, this is why the stock reaction that we saw on the result day. But the explanation management has given a lot of good. And they said that seasonally, this quarter is bad. And Q4 is seasonally quite strong quarter. And fundamentally, overall, there is nothing changed in the company. So, we maintain our positive stand and we believe that this dip is a good opportunity to buy uh, for Supriya uh, Life Science. Uh, sir, or someone asked for Lab that you had stock in 2-3 months ago. Uh, currently, Loris is 500 rupees. His uh, Q2 ka result was bad and after that, management said that there were delays, freight costs, raw material price. Because of this, uh, uh, margins have come down 
and growth has not been so strong. Uh, they have also indicated at that time only that Q3 maybe its impact is going to come, and we would see the Q recovery from Q4. Uh, we just two days before Lawrence's result came in the commentary, the management had said the same thing. That if you look sequentially, the result is better. Q3 is better than Q2, and Q4 would be better than Q3. तो ये यहाँ से अभी रिकवरी अच्छी दिखती है तो आगे के लिए ये स्टॉक अच्छा ही लगता है जो अभी आज 500 चल रहा है इसके हिसाब से भी स्टॉक इज ट्रेडिंग अराउंड 27 टाइम्स लेकिन ग्रोथ हैज बीन मेंटेन तो आगे के लिए 20 से 25 परसेंट का ग्रोथ मेंटेन है इनफैक्ट मैनेजमेंट आल्सो मेंटेन देयर एस्पिरेशनल सेल्स टारगेट ऑफ 1 बिलियन डॉलर बाय एफए 23 तो दैट कम्स आउट टू 24 25% सीएजीआर फ्रॉम एफए 21 जिसमें तो FI 22 would be little muted तो आपका जो भी main growth year होगा would be FI 23 so we maintain our positive stand on Loris again Lakshmi Organics we are not very positive sir अभी के जो अभी तक का जो trend हम देख रहे हैं chemicals का कि because of raw material prices have been quite high and freight cost वगैरह transportation cost have been quite high तो margins में impact आ रहा है so we would like to wait for the results to take a better view पर at least अभी के लिए it is avoid it is not, you should not buy at this price. Uh, what's your view on pharma sector? So pharma sector, uh, like uh, our team also, technical team was also explaining is good. But uh, what we like is that you go stock specific. Jai. Isko, uh, randomly or uh, in broad level, you should not take pharma nahi lena In the large caps, we are positive on uh, Cipla and Sun Pharma. And uh, for the mid caps, like we can go for Loris, Supriya, such kind of name. So you need to be stock specific in pharma now. Uh, so there was one query on shopper stop also, if you can take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, shopper stops looks uh, quite positive. Uh, see, Q3 result, result was good. That was mainly driven by seasonality uh, because uh, uh, Q3 is generally very strong season for all retailers, including shopper stop wherein uh, festival demand and wedding demand comes in. Uh, but what we are seeing positive in the company is that there is a change of management. Uh, change of management, uh, uh, Venu Nair, who was earlier with uh, uh, Trent, has uh, joined Soper Stop around one year back and he is building up the team for uh, uh, whatever uh, the growth plan or uh, its strategy is. Uh, they are focusing on uh, increasing the revenue and uh, uh, increasing the margins. Uh, if you see their current revenues are at around 3,500 crores and they are targeting to double it in next four to five years to around 7,000 crores. And uh, <clears throat> non-India's uh, margins are at around 7% and which they are targeting to take it to 9-10%. And uh, looking at the past history of the management and uh, uh, looking at the current uh, pricing or valuation, the, the risk reward looks quite positive for super stock. Uh, Q4 is uh, likely to get impacted because of uh, some period we had seen that uh, there were uh, problems in uh, people going out and buying and uh, uh, because of that, uh, are almost around uh, one month uh, uh, they have lost. So Q4 result may not be so great. Uh, so short term uh, stock may not uh, do well, but long term outlook is quite great for super stock. So one should look for uh, buying the super stock at current price and even on uh, decline for a uh, one to two year perspective. So I would like to uh, answer yeah. the question of emphasis and HCL tech yeah. and the bank Nifty view. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, definitely the bank Nifty view will be a little bit cautious as of Nifty also. They said, uh, Upside, as of now, bank Nifty is facing a very strong resistance of the 38,000 psychological resistance level. If we don't see it, we don't see any fresh buying. Uh, looking towards the Friday session, uh, I believe the profit booking we have seen higher levels in a few times in this particular month. Where can it be an important support for the bank? It will be reached up to 36,200, which is the strong support provided by 200 EMA. Now, at the current level, 37,400 is an immediate support level. Hai. All these levels are the future levels. Please keep in mind. Currently, futures में 37,800 के ऊपर चलते हैं, 37,400 will be the immediate support level. If it's break that level, then definitely the selling pressure is likely to be intensified, which might take a bank nifty towards 
So that will be the view on the bank Nifty. Yeah, upside, as I said, 38,000. As, as long as it sustains below 38,000 levels, upside cannot be seen uh, on the higher levels. Now, coming towards the uh, technical questions on the emphasis. Emphasis definitely IT packs me just say kaha ki itna koi khas moment of humbe dekhne nahi mil raha hai profit bookin humbe dekhne mil rahi hai. Emphasis ka chart dekhe to as of now this particular counter is trading below the 50 and 100 DMA and it's on the uh, verge or if you have the rally to touch the feet of 200 day moving average which comes straight around 3700 level. Uh, buy positions at the current level may nahi dena chaungi but those who are having any long positions they can hold on. But to maintain the strict stop loss of 3000 levels on the downside, currently it is trading at 3040 levels. So, if you are getting any uh, rally on the upside, which comes straight around 3100 or 3150 levels, you can just book your profits or else maintain your long positions with the stop loss of 3000. I believe once it manages to give the breakdown of 3000 levels, mm -hmm. then it will touch the feet of 2900 to 2840 levels on the downside. So, overall, you want to emphasize a particular stock is a little bit cautious. Avoid the major long positions at the CMP. Uh, coming towards the uh, Mr. Kishore has asked for a technical view on HDFC Life and HDFC Bank. Bank may be a local view, bank nifty may just say that we have a view cautious. Hai. So, HKFC bank ka view bhi mera little bit cautious hai because this particular counter is trading below the all the moving averages ke niche. Pila to low top slow bottom formation mein chal raha hai. Agar hum monthly, uh, monthly chart dekhe since November, ye particular counter ne kaapi uh, sell off dekha hai. Also we can see the profit booking dekhi hai. Mujhe nahi lagta current level pe long position build up karne chahiye. But jinke paas bhi ho, wo hold kar sakte hai. 1430 ke stop loss se. Pullback rally as a key, a particular counter may agar humlo koi bi next week may a pullback rally take the head. So, this particular counter may continue this pullback rally towards 1500 to 1500 levels on the higher side. But long positions cannot be initiated at the current CMP. Hold your long position, but maintain the strict stop loss of 1440. So, that's a stop loss. Okay, you can hold your long positions. Next question, next question is asked by uh, Mangala on the DB slab. So, this is lap so I will give you a lot of this is lap. If we talk about this counter, we have seen a lot of last 2 or 3 months. So, we have to continue to sell off from almost 5100 levels to 37, 3800 levels. We have to continue to sell off. So, overall view uh, bearish to cautious. Hai. Probably, or we can see 100-200 points ke downfall. Then, we will enter the oversold zone. Mein enter Probably, uh, bottom up. 3700 के आसपास हो सकता है तो वेट कीजिएगा डोंट लुक एनी लॉन्ग पोजीशन एट द सीएमपी अगर कोई भी डीप आता है 3700 के आसपास तो हम सोच सकते हैं कि वहां पे एक फ्रेश बाइंग कर सकते हैं बट एट द सीएमपी नहीं पुल बैक रैली आने की क्षमता है ओनली इफ इट गिव अ ब्रेक आउट ऑफ 4000 लेवल्स ऑन द हायर साइड अप टू 4100 टू 4200 लॉन्ग पोजीशंस है तो करंट लेवल पे मैं स्टॉप लॉस देना चाहूंगी 3900 का अगर कोई भी उछाल आता है या अपसाइड रैली आती है पुलबैक रैली आती है 4100 के आसपास तो यू कैन बुक योर प्रॉफिट थैंक यू सर आई एम टेकिंग थ्री टेक्निकल व्यू फर्स्ट वन इज नेशनल एल्युमिनियम नेशनल एल्युमिनियम लुक्स पॉजिटिव एट करंट लेवल आल्सो राइट नाउ ट्रेडिंग इन 108 uh, to we expect uh, positive momentum in this stock. Uh, any move to, uh, towards uh, 104, 103, uh, you can accumulate that level and keep a stop loss 100. Upside uh, 118, 120, uh, next important target for uh, national aluminum. Uh, Tata Power also trading in positive zone and uh, star structure is positive. Uh, so we can uh, expect positive momentum any deep towards uh, 238 to 36 you can uh, accumulate at that level keep a stop loss uh, 232 uh, upside first immediate resistance is uh, 252 is break to 252 then we expect further momentum 260 to 62 and uh, third one is uh, salger electronic uh, see salger electronic is uh, overall stock is positive but uh, is trading short term in average below do we expect uh, some retracement towards uh, 110, 104 at downside? 
so those have position for long term they can uh, keep it with uh, stop loss is worth uh, 200 and they want to take it then they can wait for uh, 210 to 4 uh, at downside uh, upside uh, 242 is the first immediate uh, resistance and uh, maybe you can take a target also if break that level then we expect further momentum towards uh, 270 280 uh one to two uh, two uh, month to so we can hold for long term and uh, short term also uh the fourth one is itc itc looks positive at current level uh, itc trading in uh, support zone uh, uh, that is uh, 210 uh, and uh, 220 that is a big support zone for itc and uh, trading between this range only so any move about 220 then we expect further momentum is 234 and uh, 240 uh, for next uh, one to two week and uh, downside uh, support place around uh, 208 so those have position they can hold it and uh, upside target is uh, 240 for one to two uh, week that's yeah um, i need a there i'll take a couple of questions So there is a question on Bank Nifty. The view is positive for Bank Nifty. See, rollovers for PSUs have been less. Uh, so definitely there is going to be good buying from that space. And private also they are relatively uh, uh, you know with low open interest. So uh, definitely you know as a whole, Bank Nifty should move up, uh, and it can possibly go towards forty thousand, forty thousand five hundred odd levels uh, probably in this series. so uh, that is one sector which ke, which is uh, likely to move up uh, and it is not likely to remain range bound like nifty so uh, uh, the downward support uh, should come in around 37000 or 36500 or levels that should be the lower band for this particular sector the second question uh, is about uh, maximum open interest in 15500 put and 19500 call what does it mean so batul uh, bhai it doesn't really mean anything uh, it needs to be seen which strikes have it uh, as a whole we see all strikes combined together so uh, whenever this all strikes combined together have highest open interest that can mean as a support and resistance when they have been made uh you know when open interest has been created all of that also matters uh, even uh what really matters is if this is a 3 month 6 month or 12th month uh, uh, series as well so all factors we have to take into consideration before uh, you know uh, using them as a support or resistance at this point of time also uh, we got to see if uh, you know this open interest is shifting downwards or upwards or it is stable so uh, you know lot of considerations but um, you know there are some videos that uh, we have made as well you can probably refer to those uh, you know it will help uh, learning the same um then there is one uh, question uh, on nifty someone's bought uh, 17400 uh, call at 325 i think it is the third feb series so uh, yeah the question is uh, should uh, he exit before first feb uh, so definitely you know uh, it is better not to uh, go naked long uh, it is better to hedge position so uh, you know you already bought 17400 call we have given a strategy for nifty of buying 17300 call and put so uh, it will be better that uh, you know you execute that strategy and hold on till uh, the budget announcement you are likely to make good profits on uh, if nifty goes in either direction so uh, you know don't remain only long uh, in one direction that is the point Yeah. Um, uh, yes. So uh, let uh, Jehan take few questions because we have a limited time now. So there is a uh, question on uh, which auto OEM will do well between N M Tata Motor Maruti T V S. Um, so we feel how investors should uh, approach the auto sector is that uh, you have to differentiate between uh, urban demand and rural demand. We are seeing that because of since the pandemic began the demand is uh, continuously going down and urban is picking up which is uh, reflecting in the uh, good performance or at least on the demand side uh, in meeting list for passengers uh, uh, and commercial vehicles whereas uh, uh, tractors and two wheelers uh, demand is weaker which are more dependent on the rural areas so from that aspect uh, we should uh, 
see the passenger vehicle company is outperforming like maruti tata motors even from that uh, the jlr aspect as well the order booking is very good so once the chip shortage situation uh, uh, improves it is improving every month uh, we are seeing company saying that chip shortage is improving so going forward maruti tata motors are uh, more likely to outperform compared to uh, let's say tvs uh, hero bajaj and mnm uh, there is uh, one more question on uh, sona blw for medium to long term so we had uh, recommended this stock in the diwali pick as well um uh, 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 this stock uh, in between had gone up but in this correction has come down again uh, we feel it's a good level to accumulate this stock it is basically a proxy play on the electric vehicle uh, transformation that is happening more so in india because there is no pure play company available this is the uh, closest uh, ev company play that you will find it is uh, mostly to differential gears and tata motors uh, both approximately percent of this and uh, within that gears uh, it has a 12 global market share which is expected to grow go to 20% in four five years and uh, expect a good uh, 40 45% kind of earnings growth over next five years in this company so it's a no doubt expensive stock but uh, uh, we expect that earnings growth kind of uh, returns uh, may be expected in the stock price also so at uh, 660 levels between that it is a good to accumulate thank you yeah uh, so i'll take uh, see we are sort of time now uh, i think time is uh, we are exceeding the time i'll just take two three questions and then we'll wind up uh, there is a question on india bull real estate uh, uh, the outlook seems uh, positive uh, though this quarter results was bad uh, wherein the booking was quite low at around 180 crores uh, against uh, uh, last year booking of almost around 500 crores uh and uh, uh, also the company reported loss uh, so i we feel that this is more of a clean up exercise or maybe uh, since the management is changing over uh, that might have happened and in between since the management was uh, uh, changing over they had not launched new project in the recent time so that's why uh, the low sales has come overall real estate market has shown good improvement or, and consistently showing good improvement and uh, india bull real estate along with embassy has a very good uh, land bank and uh, that will help them to launch a lot of new projects uh, once the new management uh, start uh, performing or taking charge of the company so uh, we feel that the merger is likely to get completed by march and uh, by that time the new management will come up with uh, strategy and all for uh, future development Uh, looking at the uh, uh, good uh, environment for the industry that is sector performance is likely to be good and uh, company is having very good uh, land bank and all so uh, that looks uh, quite positive for india bull real estate uh, from a long term perspective apart from this uh, there is uh, one question on uh, bajaj consumer also uh, prices has uh, corrected a lot in recent past and uh, even if we see most of the fmcg has underperformed because of the high cost pressures uh, which they are facing and uh, because of that their impact on the volume has also come so uh, near term uh, even in this quarter also the results is not likely to show any great improvement uh the key thing is that uh, uh considering the sector uh, it's a debt free company and uh, having a cash balance of around 600 crores uh, and uh, uh, being a fmcg company their roe and roce are uh, almost around 25 26% uh the key thing is that uh, the change in management and uh, uh, the things which they were playing out and was going on a smooth path but uh, because of this cost pressure which has impacted their margin and all uh, <clears throat> in near term uh, the outlook has turned a bit uh, soft so uh, near term likely to remain sideway but if someone is looking for a longer term view uh, yeah the fundamentals of the company are better and the uh, management is looking to grow this business but uh, in near term can remain on a sideway uh, we feel that downside risk is limited from here then there was a question on metal sector Uh, the outlook on tata steel jsw and uh, all these companies so what we see that uh, uh, the cost push again here is very high we see that uh, the key raw material that is poking coal uh, 
the prices of the cooking coal are still moving up, uh, which were at around $120 around six months back, are right now at around $440. So that is uh, very high. And uh, uh, whatever the margins they had earned around two quarter back, like Tata Steel has done a bit of a turn of almost around 30,000, will have an impact of all these uh, increasing uh, uh, cooking coal, increasing coal prices and all. So uh, uh, up till this uh, uh, raw material push continue to remain on the companies, uh, com margins are likely to come off uh, in this quarter on uh, even in the coming quarters. Uh, so uh, right now we don't see any great opportunity in this stock until and unless we see corrections in the commodity price, their raw material prices. Steel prices, they are increasing, but not uh, able to increase to the extent the raw material prices are increasing. So overall outlook uh, remain more of a cautious on this sector, may see some corrections in the coming period. <laughs> so I think we are out of time. Uh, if suppose a lot of questions are still pending, so we'll request them to put it on uh, research at the rate nirmalbank.com. So we will be able to reply over there. So thank you very much and uh, have a good day and uh, uh, be safe and take care of your families. Thank you very much. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for in-depth interviews of India Inc. and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates.